Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Conflict of Interest. I am Devin Jurett, your host, your curator. How are you doing tonight? Good? Good. I can actually hear what you said, but uh, I'm assuming you're good. Um, if you're not good, then I'm sorry, and I hope we can make you feel better. Um, this is our very first episode, so yeah, how about that? So we'll clap there. Um, so basically how I'm thinking this is going to work is uh, we're just going to talk. We're just going to have a conversation, you and I, even though I'm, I'll be the only one talking. You can talk if you want to. Leave a comment and, uh, and, and talk to me and tell me about how your day was and tell me how, uh, how your boss made you mad today. I'll, I'll listen. Uh, or I'll try to. <laughs> um, I think we're going to start off today by telling a little story. Um, a story of something. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe it. it. It's it's a story of a relationship that I was once in, and uh, I know a lot of my close friends and, and family already know this story, but you probably don't. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about it today. This is the story of me, a nerdy little kid finally getting a girlfriend and along with her with her becoming my girlfriend along with me getting getting this girl I also ended up with a boyfriend and yeah I know that sounds that sounds a bit crazy and I'll I'll ex actually explain how this came to be so um, I became friends with this girl a while back and um, she was really cool, really cool, really cute. And um, me, being the person I am, I, I thought I had absolutely no chance. Uh, <laughs> um, and well, I, I I got the nerve to actually ask her out on a date, and it went it went pretty well. We went out to a really really expensive restaurant that I'll probably never go back to again because I didn't like it, but. Uh, we went out to this expensive restaurant. We we ate and we talked. And uh, after that night, she told me uh, that she wanted to be friends. And I I, I get that. I understand. Um, so we became friends and we talked. And uh, we became really good friends, actually. And uh, a few months went by. And after a few months of, of talking to her, I, I realized I still kind of kind of liked her in the way of more than friends and I wanted to see where that could go um, so I drove over to her house and well apartment and we went for a walk through the apartment complexes and I sat her down and I was like look I like you I really like you and I understand if you you want to be friends and after this I won't try anymore and We'll just, we'll be friends. But I want you to be with me. I want, I want you to, to be my girlfriend. And she looked me dead in the face and was like, okay, yeah, for sure. And uh, I was like, really? Like, I, I thought you wanted to be friends after we went on our date. And she was like, no, no, I, I would love to, to be your girlfriend. Oh, we'll, we'll go together. And I was like, okay, cool, sounds good. And uh, so we we sat there and talked, and she was like, oh, I hope you understand um, that I have a boyfriend already. And I was like, I'm I'm confused. I thought I thought we were going on. She was like, oh, we are. I uh, I'm polyamorous. I I I have love for multiple for I can have love for multiple people. Sometimes one, sometimes three or four. You you never really know and. I was like, okay, I, I can kind of understand that, but I was still kind of taken aback because I, I had never really been in that kind of situation before. And she was like, are you okay with that? And I, I thought about it for a second. I was like, you know what? Why not? Um, it's a new experience for me. It's a new experience uh, for really everybody involved because even if she's had a couple boyfriends, a girlfriend, if she wants that she's never dated me along with these people. So it's a new experience for everybody, right? Um, yeah, it was it was definitely, definitely an interesting experience from there. 
uh, fast forward a couple weeks and we're still we're still together. I had met her boyfriend slash my boyfriend a couple of times. Um, I mean, he referred to me immediately as, as his boyfriend and I was like, you know what, that's cool, whatever. Um, I wasn't really sure where my sexuality lied in that, in that point, but I mean, new experiences, right? And uh, so I was... I was really into the whole the whole thing for a while, um, or at least I thought I was. I was kind of telling myself I was. But what I slowly learned over the course of about a month or two um, throughout the whole the whole relationship was that I'm I'm an extremely jealous and and uh, really protective person. So when I get into relationships like that, I I don't know the person that I'm I'm with the person that. I love is is mine and I will protect what's mine until the end of days and I just I was having trouble trying to to split that that feeling between a few different people and and I'm not trying to say anything bad about uh, dating multiple people if that's if that's what you like then that's what you do I just found that that situation wasn't for me um, we didn't really we didn't really do much we didn't really um we ended up not talking as much because in in a relationship like that there are going to be uh, more relationshipy type relationships throughout the group if that makes any sense so with her and her initial boyfriend they were together before I came along and that's just how it how it seemed and that's what I looked at and they they went on dates together and they did everything and I was kind of I was kind of like a third wheel I kind of just sat back and watched everything happen uh, which isn't any of her fault or any of his fault it, it was my fault I didn't make the uh, I chose not to do that I chose not to to be a part of that group be a part of that relationship and uh, we ended up breaking up uh, I think I was the one to break up with her only because I felt like our relationship while labeled as a relationship was more of a friendship and it didn't it it wasn't any more than what it was we were we were trying to make it more than what it was if that makes any sense um and we're still friends to this day she's a she's a great person and i, I love talking to her um and you know she she's happy and that makes me happy so i i really i don't know i think what i learned from from that relationship and going into uh, the events like that, going into um, all sorts of, I don't know, new experiences, like I, like I said, um, is that me as a person, I, I don't think I could do that again. Um, I don't think I could split my love between multiple people. My love is a really powerful thing, I believe. And when I do fall in love with somebody, I fall incredibly hard, and I fall way too far, and I, I don't know. But at, at this current moment, I am happy, and I am engaged, um, and my love for that person is more than, than I've ever experienced. And that's just the kind of person that I am. Is It's just a really, I don't know, really passionate, really emotional person. And so in a situation like that, it's just, it's not for me. But now knowing her and her relationship, and actually another friend of mine um, is currently in a polyamorous relationship, I'm happy to see people happy with each other. And I have noticed um, that it, it takes a lot of work. I know there's a lot of uh, monogamous couples out there that are, that are struggling every day to make each other happy, and they don't feel like they're happy. Um, I was actually talking to uh, my friend a couple weeks ago, and she said that on days when uh, when days when my boyfriend can't handle me, when days that I'm just too stressed and I'm I know I'm being too out there, and it's it's a lot of stress, and when I'm, when I'm being really overwhelming. Uh, I sit my boyfriend down and I say, "Let we're going to take a minute. And I go and I talk to my girlfriend 
and I feel better. And then all three of us come together and we watch a movie and we just, you know, we're, we're a trio. That's, that's what we are is one of us can handle the other or, or whatever. I, I don't know. I just, I like the idea that if, if you can't handle somebody at the moment and you can respect that, um, you can, you know, move on from that and you can move and you can go talk to somebody else about it. And it's kind of like having two best friends that sleep in your bed. It's pretty great. Uh, and it was, it was, it was really great to see them. And I just, I, the love for, I have for them is absolutely amazing. Um, but on the other note, um, so this is, this is where we're getting to, uh, in our show where we'll, we'll kind of flip it around a little bit, um, and, and talk about either something similar or something, something unrelated. In this case, we're talking about something that is on the nose, um, I was talking to my other friend today, and she's she's really old fashioned, old school. Uh, just she can't think about being with anybody else but her boyfriend, and I I completely respect that. Um, and she asked, "Is it actually possible to love two people at once? Like, do you think it's possible to love two people at once?" And I I honestly believe so. Um, I think that in the same way that you can love your best friends um i th i think everything can be taken to a a romantic level uh, aside from that platonic level and there's a lot of silence there but uh, <laughs> sorry about that guys this is the first tv or the first uh, podcast and i don't i don't really know where to go from there like um that's that's just it i think it is possible to love two people at once and i i do understand it's not for everybody there are pros and cons to both of them um pros like i said being earlier is that when things get too overwhelming there's multiple people there to handle the the circumstances of what's going on the cons is yeah people like me get jealous um we get jealous of seeing who we think is our significant other with somebody else and there are uh a lot of steps and measures you can take to prevent that um but if if that's just the type of person you are then you don't need to be in a relationship like that you need to you need to take a step back and and find find out what you really like um although if if that's something you want to try it's always good to experiment i think um, but no i i i have noticed that in relationships like that there there are a lot of ground rules that have to be set there's a lot of trust and uh, a foundation has to be built before you can just jump into a relationship like that. Um, for one, I know when I was when I was in a relationship uh, with two other people, the the rules were that you know um, we are together, and while there are multiple people, that is not like an open invitation to go sleep around with everybody else. Which of course I already knew. But some people, I don't think, un have an understanding of that. They think that a polyamorous relationship equals an open relationship, and, and they don't. Um, if, if you're in an open relationship, then kudos to you. Uh, mad props, I don't think I could handle that. I think someone would die. Um, the second I, I found out who they were, I, I would... Oh, man. But... That being said, if like I said, if if that's your thing, then then you do you, you know. Um, and I feel like we're a little too serious right now. I feel like I I got really like just into this, and I, I don't I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments if uh, if we're being too serious right now. If we need to to bring it back. And speaking of we, it's just me right here. Um, it's just me. But in future episodes, we will have more people uh, joining us. We will have guests to uh, debate with us on certain topics. Um, you'll meet all kinds of all kinds of nice people, and I just uh, I really hope that we get this thing off the ground. And um, like I said, one more time for you guys, this is conflict of interest, and my name is Devin Jarrett, and I, 
don't know. I'm just going to try to uh, keep you guys entertained, you know, anywhere from 15 minutes to 45 minutes at a time. I haven't even decided how I'm going to do this. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. But um, honestly, guys, uh, I think for today's episode, we're just going to keep it short and sweet. Um, so on the topic of today's story time and on today's uh, advice column, uh, polyamory, man. If, if, that's, if that's the kind of thing you're into, then do it. If you think you can handle that, then do it. I respect you for that. Um, it's not for me, though, I do have to say. Um, so, anyways, uh, this has been Conflict of Interest. And I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day. And I will see you, or listen to you, or talk to you in the next one. Good night.